Offensive notes from the Browns. This is from Nick Wagner, who is a um, 49ers beat reporter. And this, these are concerning. EPA offensive play, minus .16, 31st in the NFL, 30th in pass play EPA, 23rd in rush play EPA. Jerome Ford leads the Browns in scrimmage yardage per game, 65.8, 47th in the league. 49ers have three players averaging at least 75.6. Um, Jeff, there's, I, the offense has to find a way to get better. We knew it would be a work in progress. they got to start making some progress. Well, you look at this, and obviously, I mean, you can break it down, and there's probably a reason these numbers add up the way they do. You know, Baltimore Raven game where you started a rookie quarterback who found out at 1030 in the morning he was getting the starting assignment. The terrible game against Pittsburgh. Obviously, the weather against Cincinnati, they started to play much better, probably, in my opinion, about the last 33, 34 minutes of that ball game, and obviously things went kind of right for you against the Tennessee Titans. But there's no question about it. You have a defense out here that is putting up, you know, top five numbers all across the board. Um, so, you know, and we kind of even said once the defense came on so quickly, hey, the offense isn't going to have to do, you know, top five in the league stuff. They're basically just going to have to, you know, kind of keep the pace and make sure they don't, you know, cause points to get on the board, which they've done. Don't turn the ball over, which they done with it, which they have also done, you know, and make sure the run blocking holds up. None of those things have happened to this point. So you get an offense that's, you know, really, really struggling to this point. And if it's another week without Deshaun, and now it's going to be yet a different quarterback playing. Um, so the Browns will be on their third quarterback start in just five games, which is a miraculous number in the NFL. Um, but by no means, I mean, the defense can't go out there. They're not going to get, you know, four or five, you know, pick sixes per game to, you know, make the difference here. This offense has got to find a way to at least keep drives going, find a way to get points, even if they're field goals. They just can't go out there and go at the pace that they're going at right now. So this is also concerning. These are PFF grades for run blocking. Um, Jedrick Wills, 44. Joel Batonio, 59. Wyatt Teller, 63.3. Dewan Jones, 41.4. I'm not sure why they <laughs> include Donovan Peoples-Jones in there. Um, and, and Ethan Posick, 71.8. Um, is it – did Nick Chubb make this offensive line look a little bit better? Is it – is it just a, a tough start for the offensive line? How do you how do you deal with those grades, which are not great, from a line that, by most accounts, is one of the better ones in the NFL? Well, you know, this team is obviously always graded very well on the offensive line standpoint, but that has nothing to do with what Nick Chubb's doing with the ball in his hands. Obviously, that has to do with what the players are doing. Three or four games now, the Browns have paid, uh, played – uh, you know, an odd front in two out of the four games. The Browns have always struggled against the odd front. And, you know, in a game like Pittsburgh, obviously, you know, they got lucky with the 169-yard run from Jerome Ford that obviously balanced numbers that maybe weren't as good as they appeared to be. Keep in mind, Nick Chubb did have 50 yards in that game as well before he went down. Um, but it's it's certainly a question when basically everybody has dropped. Um, and when you're talking about Joel and you're talking about Wyatt Teller and, you know, Ethan Postick obviously doing a pretty good job, I guess, considering the rest of the numbers. Dewan Jones, we understood this was going to be his weakness. is a really, really difficult thing for Dewan Jones. He's just such a big guy. It's really, really hard to basically move in a phone booth the way he needs to, you know, to be good as far as you know, being a run blocker within this system. But my honest belief is those numbers are only going to go up. Obviously, the Browns are going to get, obviously, a lot of easier opponents after the San Francisco 49ers. Um, but, yeah, so for right now, those numbers don't look good. But, you know, I think I would rather those numbers, you know, be hopefully trending forward. Um, you know, with the weeks to come here, as opposed to when the Browns get to the good part of the schedule that looks more favorable and those numbers, God forbid, were starting to, you know, to dwindle as opposed to go up.